What is good, you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Nicole. And if you couldn't already tell by the title, we have a juicy review today. We are going to be unboxing and doing an activewear review on the Bailey Stewart of Funny Juicy Collection. And as many of you know, I've been a fan of Bailey Stewart for years now. She's hands down one of my favorite YouTubers. And so when I saw that she was having a collab with Buff Bunny, I just knew I had to get in on it. And you guys, I was there right at launch. And by the time I went to go check out, a bunch of the pieces were already sold out. So I feel like that's how you know it's going to be a good one. I spent $600 of my own money. None of this is gifted. None of this was sponsored. So this is going to be a very honest review. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this package real quick. So feel free to stick around. If you just want to see the activewear haul, go ahead and feel free to fast forward. All right. So I ended up spending $615 total. So cute. It feels so soft. Oh my gosh. This was the piece I was most excited about. It was the form seamless leggings in the honeydew ombre. Ooh. And then this twisty little sports bra. Super cute little bandos. I'm so excited to try this on. Love this in the guapa too. Okay, this shrug is so adorable. I love that it has the little thumb holes. Okay, and then I got the infamous bodysuit. I am so sad. I wanted this in the lipstick red so bad, but it was already sold out by the time I went to check out. So I settled for the cold brew and it looks like it's gonna fit really, really well. Super excited to try this on. I just really hope that it doesn't end up looking like shapewear. So here we are with the form seamless leggings in that honeydew ombre stuck to my usual size extra small we have the twisted halter sports bra in a medium definitely had to size up to a medium as a 34d and then we have the matching honeydew bolero in an extra small and this is definitely my favorite look out of the entire launch leggings are definitely more sheer than i was expecting i'm getting a really good tummy control too with this waistband i feel very snatched in this halter sports bra is absolutely adorable definitely a low support, but I feel pretty held in surprisingly. And for the Bolero, definitely stuck to the extra small. I noticed with the small, it just had a little bit more extra fabric than I would like. So definitely recommend sticking to your usual size. As for the back, I absolutely love this small little dainty halter. It's perfect for back day. And the leggings have this really nice aggressive widow's detail. No in your face scrunch, but I think it is definitely doing the glutes justice, getting pretty good glute separation. And overall, I just love this honeydew blue bubbles combo. Absolutely in love with the set, highly recommend. I also do really love the bandeau too. Definitely had to upsize to a medium, only because the small didn't offer me as much coverage as I would like for a 34D. I think I will be going with the twisted halter sports bra. Bandeau is absolutely a adorable, but by no means do I need to keep both. And I just like the Twisted Halter Sports Bra slightly more. Wish the leggings weren't as sheer, but still definitely a favorite of mine. And you guys, I am so torn on what to do with this outfit. I absolutely love the look, but despise how sheer these guava leggings are. You can definitely see my nude thong, especially in the front. And I don't know, you guys, I think that's a deal breaker for me. I'm getting pretty good timing control in the leggings and think this color is absolutely adorable. But if I can't even wear nude underwear without seeing it, I don't know, this might have to go. In the bandeau, we have a size medium and there's no way as a 34D I could have worn the small. Small is my usual size when it comes to Buff Bunny sports bras, but in this, the small just wasn't enough coverage. I'm definitely happier with medium. As for the shrug, definitely like the way that the extra small looks. Despite me having some shoulders and lats, I do prefer more of a tighter fit when it comes to boleros. As for the back of the leggings, I would say it's about a medium on the booty scale. I think I was expecting a little bit more, but I'm not mad about these. No scrunch, but we do have an aggressive widow's peak. I'm not really crazy about all of these seams in the front, to be honest. Obviously, there's no front seam, but I think all of these other seams are a little bit distracting and unnecessary. But I'll be honest with you, I wasn't expecting these leggings to be so sheer. Definitely a disappointment, and I think that these might have to be a return. Okay, so here we have the shape seamless bodysuit in an extra small in the color cold brew. And okay, when I first put this on, I wasn't exactly sure about this one, but it definitely grew on me. So the thing I love the most about this bodysuit is definitely the back. It has this really nice ribbed material in the middle of the bodysuit, which really snatches you in. Definitely the highest form of tongue control that I've seen, at least when it comes to something like a bodysuit and not technically shapewear. Very aggressive widow's peak detail and makes the glutes look phenomenal. I'm getting really good glute separation. As for the front, like I mentioned, really great tummy control. This rib material seriously snatches you in like no other. I'm almost not exactly sure though what this V detailing in the front, if it's a little too try 
hard. Straps, although they are not adjustable, they are fitting me great. I would say about a low to medium support, but I would still feel comfortable working out in this. And while I'm not exactly sure about this one, I think come the fall, winter, I'm going to be reaching for this a lot more than expected, especially during the winter when I do a little bit of a bulk. I think I'm really going to appreciate a tummy control bodysuit like this. Once again, it really snatches you in. I would have loved to snag this in the red. I think the red color would have really helped for it to not look like shapewear, but definitely keeping this for now. I just know I would regret returning it. So I'm interested to see how much I end up wearing this one. So overall, I would say this was a slightly disappointing launch. I love Bailey. Again, still one of my favorite YouTubers. This collection just didn't look and fit exactly like how I expected it to. Definitely going to be keeping the ombre leggings along with the twisted halter sports bra. Love the bandeau. I think that for a bandeau, they really nailed it. I just like the halter sports bra slightly more and I can't keep both. Unfortunately, I'm going to be returning the guava set. I think with it being so sheer and especially a solid color, it makes the nude underwear underneath very visible. And that's just going to be a no for me. Even though the ombre leggings are also sheer, it kind of is disguised given all of the colors. So a little disappointing, but again, this is my honest review. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this style video, please go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. It's absolutely free and helps this channel out tremendously. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.